Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted any review videos, but uh, we have been busy moving. So we downgraded from a single family home to an accessory dwelling unit in my in-laws backyard. And now this is my new office. So it's just a desk inside a closet. So it's a downgrade from what I had before, which was a nice separate office structure in our backyard. But um, we kind of took in this into account when we were building this building. So, uh, it was, and it was really the only space where we could have like a office slash closet set up. Ever since we moved in, we've been sharing internet with my in-laws that are living in the main house in on the front of the property. We've been using their Wi-Fi. So what I did was I bought some Linksys mesh routers and I spread them all over the place with hopes of being able to get a really strong Wi-Fi signal at the back of their property. And overall, it's been working. However, my job requires me to take calls over voice over IP. And one of the problems I noticed was that if the Wi-Fi cuts off for just a second, it'll drop the call. So uh, during my last shift, my calls were dropping pretty much on an hourly basis and it, it caused a lot of fr frustration. So I realized that uh, the only solution would be to either figure out a way to improve the Wi-Fi or have a hardwired connection. So like an ethernet cord running into their router and then going back to the ADU. So I tried improving the Wi-Fi by moving the router around uh, or moving myself around the ADU to see if the signal gets better. And it does get a little bit better, but I still run into the same issue where sometimes I'll get a uh, drop call. Another solution I started looking at was Starlink. I have the Starlink Mini. I bought it for uh, review purposes, but I just never got around to it. But I ended up sending it up to see if that might be a solution as well. Now, the challenge with that is that it really needs to be mounted high and not have anything around it to obstruct the view of the satellite. So I'll throw some B-roll on the screen that shows what the obstructions look like. But basically, if you mount it closer to the ground, anything on the left or the right of it could be an obstruction. So if there's like a building in the way, then that'll be an obstruction. Um, so it really needs to be mounted on like the peak of the roof and then pointed towards a clear sky. I haven't set that up yet because it's still a Wi-Fi based connection and you may still run into the same issues, especially if it's a satellite connection. When I was looking at the stats, it did show that there were some occasional drops here and there. So ultimately, the best solution is to figure out if there is a way to have a wired connection between the uh, Comcast router in my in-law's house, in the main house, and then extend that all the way to the ADU. So that's the plan for today. I have my cousin coming over to help me out, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, just wanted to show you guys the plan. So this is where Comcast drilled into the main house to uh, feed the cable wire inside and then it's attached to the modem so we're going to try to make this opening bigger big enough where there's enough room to fit the coax cable and an ethernet cable through the wall and then that ethernet cable will uh, connect to the modem and then we're going to run the other end and follow the cable that comcast put in now the type of ethernet cable i have this one is called the voy tolt cat 6 ethernet cable but this is actually rated for outdoor use so you can actually just bury this line into the dirt i thought about doing that too maybe just running it on the sides of the house right here thought maybe we could just run it along the dirt on the side but then the issue is we would have to run the ethernet across the path right here and then it becomes a tripping hazard we wanted a solution that had as small of an impact as possible on the main house. So we'll give that a try and then see how that works. Damn, where the glue they use is freaking really stuck in there. So we'll grip his ass. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Better. Yeah. More? Oh, oh shit. There you go. I got a piece of his ass out. I think this is just a, um, it's one of those screw taps. One of those screw yeah, wall Yeah, that's anchors. why it's gonna be too much, man. It'd be a lot easier for me to just drill past it. Yeah. Yeah. We can, uh, uh, let's cut the hat, dude. We could, um, we could put a, a new one on easy. You know how to do it though? Yeah, yeah, it's easy. You want me to look at the other side or anything? 
Because uh, it should just go straight, straight yeah, through. Yeah, it should right? go straight through. You can always, yeah. All right, I'll tell you when it gets all the way through. Yep. All right, stop though. It kind of went, uh, it didn't go through the same hole. It okay, kind of went okay, through, uh, okay. yeah, but it's gonna be covered by that. Or I guess... Uh, Let me try to run the, 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 uh, this head through. Let's see if it comes right through. It should. Yes, it did. Yeah, I got it. Uh, hey, we can use that. What if we just tape it and use it to pull the other one through? So we gotta buy these uh, coax crimper kits to redo the terminal in. It's like pre-measured uh, to splice it exactly to. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Damn. This is so oh, that's crazy. the crimper? Yeah, and then you stick it in there, right? And then you crimp it down. Right? So day two of extending the internet to my ADU. So this is where I left off yesterday. I ran cable uh, through my front door and then ran it along the baseboard around my couch and then it comes right here goes up now i realized that 125 feet of ethernet wasn't long enough so i actually had to buy some more cable so this is what we have for today's game plan i have these rg45 couplers so it's going to be able to connect one ethernet cable to another to extend it have some more wire right here so this is another 100 feet so more than enough to finish the install and then we're just going to secure it all with this product right here which is um, some coaxial staples so again this cable is actually rated for outdoor use if you're hanging this or running this out outside you can actually just bury this in the dirt Really simple. I didn't even know these things existed, but uh, easy way to extend your ethernet cable and make it longer. So my cousin was making fun of this world's tiniest hammer. Now because this is a temporary solution, I don't have to make it completely secure because I'm probably gonna wanna remove this once I actually have dedicated internet here. So I'm putting these little wood taps uh, only enough to keep the cord going, running as straight the way I want it to. Alright guys, everything is hooked up. We're gonna do a test. Let's hit go. There you go boys. So my in-laws have a gigabit connection. Even though it downloads fast, I'm really disappointed by Comcast upload speeds. I have no idea why it's so slow. I really hope they change that very soon. But you can see here guys much better than Wi-Fi. And unless the internet drops completely, I don't have to worry about any of my calls dropping anymore. So that's how you run temporary internet to another structure. <laughs>